वेलकम बैक टू बाल विज्ञान भारती टुडे बिफोर स्टार्टिंग न्यू प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन प्रोबेबिलिटी प्रोबेबिलिटी दैट प्रॉब्लम वुड बी थर्टी फोर्थ नंबर दैट विल स्टार्ट विथ बट बिफोर दैट दैट सम प्रॉपर्टी रिलेटेड टू प्रोबेबिलिटी विच इज़ यूजफुल फॉर दिस कंडीशनल प्रोबेबिलिटी हैज टू बी डिस्कस फर्स्ट सो आई हैव रिटर्न सम ऑफ द रूल्स देर देर आर फ्यू मोर प्रॉपर्टीज that i will come across uh, when i will discuss further problems but as of now these four properties may be useful uh, so that's why i need to discuss it the first of is kind is the probability of sample space uh, uh, the occurrence means the uh, what is the happening or the occurrence of sample space in a which is an event within that uh, sample space uh, pro- uh, i would say that a and b here you can see in the formula that is written as probability of s oblique a equal to probability of s oblique b equal to value is 1 and s is the sample space and a and b are the two events so i mean to say the probability of happening or occurrence of the sample space in a that means when a is already happened if i take this value and if i take that other uh, event against the same sample space the value of it will be always 1 so how can i uh, able to prove it uh, let's say for the first one if i see uh, this this square uh, or the rectangle part is showing a sample space okay and there are two interlinked uh, uh, events that could be named as a and b it could be in interlinked or uh, distinct or disjoint uh, or adjoint adjoint means when that those events are overlapped in a sample space or disjoint where uh, the events are not interlinked when they are having no intercepts so in both the cases this Uh, theory of the property is true so uh, let me take this example and side by side i will draw the other one where i will take it distinct events i will represent this events as a distinct event both the cases the property is true how it is so uh, you have to understand a thing that the if i want to see the intercept of that events intercept of both the events with the sample space or if i write it in the other way also what does it mean if i if i can understand this part uh, the understanding of this property is very easy now if we see individually what is the uh, what is the position of event any of this event within this s it is occupying its whole space in sample space individually we see if i see the a is occupying its whole space within s and the same the b is occupying its whole space within s so that means if i see this individually this tells equivalent to the event itself the occupancy of the event b in sample space a if i see the intercept intercept is mean what the common space in between two events the common space between two events if i see it separately within s if i see either if we consider it is a or b this is occupying its own space completely and which is inside the other event if i see it is s a and b is occupancy in s is the whole of its own so that means these are literally or practically the event itself which the events which are lying inside the sample space so the intercept so now if i remember the formula of this kind where happening of any events where other events already happened being represented as this one this way or if i see it similar way we can write it 
intercept B with this, isn't it? So in both the cases, the intercept of that event within the sample space because S represents the sample space where these events are lying inside. So this can be said as equivalent to this by this. So this is giving one, and similarly, this also can be written as this, and you will get one. So we can write as this corollary or the property is group. So that means the condition is that A and B should be the events within the sample space represented by S. Then only this is true. And if we see this also, uh, this has no difference because this is occupying within whether it the intercepts or does not. It won't uh, give any difference to this property. Okay, this is true for both the case, whether adjoint or disjoint events. Okay. Now coming to the second property, where it says that P A union B in A E. I'm I'm just coming to that. What is A B and E? Let me write. Where this is the property to be to be true, where this A, B, and E are the events which are which are maybe uh, which are interrelated. That means. If this is B, this is A, and this is any other events E in the same sample space, then if I do the union of A and B, the first two events, okay, whose complete uh, happening, the cumulative happening of A union B, A union B is something like that, two intercepted events. The complete union means this part, this part, and this part together in E. That means another event E, which has already happened, but could be the probability. Now, if we allow this, you might have come across this kind of formula. That means P A union B that I have used in another uh, problem earlier. We have seen this formula. Okay, just for remembrance, I am telling. This is when E is not being intervened in between A and B. So P probability of A uh, union B, okay, uh, is equal to probability of A probability B and minus that I have explained earlier how it is become. Because P A and P B, if I club this part is coming twice. So if I minus it, it will give you this part, this part, and this part. Okay, that I have explained in earlier cases. So now, what is the only difference is that E is coming in another event, which which are interlinked with A and B. Then also this formula uh, stands good. Now. Let me give you one uh, uh, example so that you can understand where this situation may arise. Let's say uh, in a class, let's say in a class, all students, all students, giving a competitive competitive examination. Okay, of two subjects. On two subjects, sorry, on two subjects, say math and physics. Okay, and after the result being published, that being published such a way that the students, the students achieved fifty percent on at least. In one subject, okay. So that means the the students who has uh, achieved fifty percent in any of the uh, subject, okay, at least one of the subjects, 
their name are displayed on the notice board okay so now if it is the probability to be calculated there you can understand let's say this much of student has occup uh, given uh, got a uh, uh, 50% on mathematics this much of student means if i draw it this much of student has uh, achieved 50% on math this much of student achieved 50% on physics and this place where the students who have achieved 50% on both so when you have to take the union where that because this name is coming twice so this name cannot be published twice no so i need to have the student's name who has only uh, achieved 50% in any of the subjects so that i uh, get uh, on the on the on the way that I, if i add this part if i add this part and one part of the intercept so that can be said as a union b means math union physics and oblique the students number uh, of students or the number of students who has achieved that i will get by doing the maths uh, uh, the maths of the student who has 50 percent physics who has received 50 percent on that subject uh, uh, the students who has received 50 percent on physics and if i minus it the intercept of the math and physics which is coming twice of the student who has got 50% so this is the such example when this kind of formula can be utilized okay so my next uh, pro uh, the property is the number third this is just similar to the property we have already uh, already have come across where the happening of any event uh, let's say happening of any event plus happen not happening of that event together it will give you one that i already come across this is nothing but the same way but here in that sample space not only one event is there two events are there and out of that one event already occurred and other uh, yet to occur so their case also if two events in the sample space a and b and one has already happened so happening of the uh, the uh, the uh, the probability of occurrence of the other event against the event that has happened plus the probability of not happening that event with the uh, against the pro uh, the uh, event already happened is also giving you one because this will not uh, uh, this will not affect the happening or not happening of that event because any event have two part only either that will occur or that will not occur for that individual event so that will not be affected by the other related events so but when we will compare the results probability of results that will give you two part against one what is happening and other which is not happening so in that case also the result will become one so this is my third uh, uh, means property fourth property is very easy what is that the fourth property says when uh, this this uh, problem i have already said when this is kind when this is adjoint means two two events in a sample space are interrelated but some cases the events which are not interrelated there is no intercept so that means if i say this is distinct or disjoint events so you won't get this common space in between so that means if i want to calculate the intercept that will come zero because they are not intercepting each other so as this intercept is numerically zero the probability of that intercept all also be zero this is my fourth property on this understand so uh, these are the four uh, uh, properties that can be used now i will solve, solve uh, the problem uh, this problem is problem number 34 uh, this problem says the probability of a student passing in science is 4 by 5 passing in science is 4 by 5 so if i write probability of 
पास पासिंग इन साइंस इज फोर बाई फाइव ओके एंड द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ पासिंग इन साइंस एंड मैथ इज वन एंड हाफ सो दैट कैन बी साइंस एंड मैथ आर टू इवेंट्स यू कैन टेक तो साइंस इंटरसेप्ट मैथ इफ आई कंसिडर दैट इज हाफ यू कैन टेक इट ना बिकॉज देर आर टू थिंग्स साइंस एंड मैथ्स आर कमिंग वेर इंडिविजुअली साइंस इज गिवेन एज फोर बाई फाइव सो आई कैन टेक प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ पासिंग इन साइंस इज फोर बाई फाइव बिकॉज दिस आर सब्जेक्ट्स एंड दिस कैन बी केप्ट इन वन सैम्पल स्पेस वेर बोथ द सब्जेक्ट्स आर गिवेन बाई द स्टूडेंट्स कैन बी कंसिडर ओके सो पासिंग ऑफ साइंस एंड मैथ इज ऑलवेज पॉसिबल बिकॉज सम स्टूडेंट पास इन साइंस सम स्टूडेंट पास इन मैथ एंड सम स्टूडेंट पास इन बोथ इन मैथ एंड साइंस सो दिस वन कंडीशन इज गिवेन वॉट इज द प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ द स्टूडेंट पासिंग इन मैथ नोइंग दैट पास इन साइंस सो दैट मीन्स द इवेंट दैट इज ऑलरेडी हैपन इज साइंस सो दैट इज क्लिस्ट क्लियर सो यू हैव टू फाइंड द स्टूडेंट हु पास मैथ वेन द ऑकरेंस ऑफ passing math when the signs already they have passed so they have need to find the probability of passing math because this is also being said the some students the probability of students who are in in the common space so you have to find the probability of passing in maths where the result is already released for signs okay so this can be said as simply math intercept science by probability of science and as you know the math intercept science or science intercept math if they are lying in the same sample space are same so this can be written as science intercept math easily and these are same so as you know this is 4 by 5 and this is Uh, uh, sorry this is half and this is 4 by 5 so this will give you your answer 5 upon 8 so this is your uh, this is your result understood okay so coming to the next problem the problem says in a survey among few people 60% read hindi newspaper okay so we can mark it 60 percent because as because it is said because in a survey among few people so few people the total people in segregated in percentage so we can always say the total surveyed people surveyed people is 100 we can say so now it will be easier to count the number so the probability the number not the probability the number of Hindi uh, reading uh, uh, Hindi reading people is sixty. Number of uh, this is forty percent English. Number of English reading people are forty, and number of twenty percent both. So that means whether you will intercept Hindi or to English or in English to Hindi, this means the same. It is twenty. Okay. So now. Individually, Hindi sixty percent, the sixty people, number because uh, the the formula that we we take here that also can be represented. If I say if I want to uh, means represent in a number, this also give you the same formula. But instead of p probability, we can represent it is by number also because. If the total sample size is, is said to be the n, so n can be divided by both the cases, and this can convert into the probability. The same thing you can hear, because that that is in the in the equation is coming, but that can be nullified easily. So now this other part, this other way, the probability can be calculated where you have to find the probability he reads Hindi also. Find uh, what is the need. Uh, chosen the random if a person is chosen at random and if he already reads english so english already happened we have to find the hindi happening against the english happened 
so the occurrence of hindi when english has already happened so this can be the probability of hindi union uh, intercept e and probability of english now this can be written as number of hindi intercept english by number of english so this can be written as hindi intercept english is 20 and the number of english is itself is 40 so that is equal to half okay so you can understand the way the probability can be calculated either you can have the probability direct of those variables or if the number is having because the sample space can be uh, can be adjusted in both the probability and that can be nullified so with the numbers ratio also you will get the final result of the probability between the two bits understand so i will end up here in the next video i will start from problem number 37 and few of the properties also i will discuss before discussing the sums in the next thank you for now